Hi everyone, I'm Greg James and I've got another fishing tip from Greg James Fishing. Although this is not really a tip, I've just been out catching a few blueies and I've come in because of the low tide and things are working against me. The wind's blowing, you can probably hear it in the background. Things aren't so good, the boat trailer's actually stuck in the sand. So today I'm going to show you a really, well actually a couple of neat little tricks that you might be able to use using rope and your boat trailer, particularly if you're fishing on your own, you've come in, you might have cut yourself, you might have got a couple of nips from the blueies, and here's a tip that'll get you out of trouble. So your crab nets are over, away, out of the way, and with the boat on the trailer, so you're all ready to go, and you find that the, the um, tide is so low, perhaps, that the boat wheels of the trailer, of the boat trailer, are stuck in the sand. So here's a trip to get you out. Grab the jockey wheel. Every boat should have one of these. A lot of them are actually attached permanently to the trailer. That's okay, mine's not. My, I've got a fairly big boat, six and a half metre boat, and I've used this trick with it, so it works really well. So what you've got to do is get yourself the um, trailer wheel, jockey wheel, put it onto your trailer, wind it in, and, and chock it and handbrake it so that it's all uh, on your boat trailer, lodged and firm. And then what really works is the piece of rope. So in other words, what I'm going to show you to, how to do is how to get your car to jackknife in a quiet way the trailer up out of the sand. Okay, so here we are with our piece of rope. I've got fairly uh, heavy gauge rope and I do that for a reason because obviously it's stronger and nylon uh, rope's got a lot uh, more strength and uh, tensile activity to its actual strands. So you grab the rope, could be a piece of anchor rope. Use the anchor rope off your boat if you're running short. Put that around the tow ball or tow bar of your of your car or your four-wheel drive give yourself plenty of rope to work with you can see how there it's just latch around there you don't need to get too fancy with this this is a way to just get you out of trouble for a short period of time do a double hitch the start of a surgeon's knot in the real world is what they call it just run that back again you don't need to get too fancy it doesn't look very secure but watch this carefully another half hitch over itself is all you need pull that back and with big thick heavy rope you just press that down and there and it's sort of like tightening the noose around the tow bar as I'm showing you and you've got this um, pretty nifty little knot for short term purpose but you can see it's a little loose so how do I stop that? Well what I do is I open my thumb and forefinger one of the strands you can see how I've burnt that end off it stops it fraying that's one of the next tips coming up but I've actually burnt the end of the rope off with a, with a flame to uh, stop the rope fraying pull that through and you can actually do it a couple of times. This works really well with cray pot rope, uh, with crab pot rope to uh, give it extra strength. You're actually doubling the strength of your uh, of your rope here. And so there you are, I've done two, you could go on and on and on. So there it is, you then attach the other end of this piece of rope to your boat trailer, repeat the process. Surgeon's knot, a couple of half hitches if you like. The rope back through its own strand so it's working against itself and you'd better pull the Titanic out of the uh, Atlantic Ocean with that just about. You'd run that back, like I said, repeat the effort with your boat trailer. You've got the car a little bit away from uh, the trailer itself so it gives you, you're able to get your wheels up on the firm concrete ramp with your car or your four-wheel drive and then put it in low range or low gear and gently walk it out. Tight lines everyone and uh, see you next time. Mm -hmm.